to get groomed? You gonna come get on the table? Ember's ready. She says it's not her, Cole's turn, it's her turn. Come on, Cole, let's get up, come on. Have a cookie, come on. Come on, Cole. Cole doesn't want to get up. I know, I know, I see the bad words. Cole, come back here. I'll get a cookie, just a minute. Cole, are you gonna come now? Come on, show them how you know how to get up. Come on, up on the table. Table. Good boy. One, two, three, oof. Good boy, now you're on the table. Come here, Cole, let me see you. You turn around, it's not that small. Come on. Come here, come. Good boy. So we're gonna do Cole's head today. We're gonna shave his ears and do his neck, and then we'll see where we are after that. So we're gonna use our clipper over here. We have our Andis two speed, which is a great clipper. Um, mine is a little shoddy and getting old here, but still works really well. I'm gonna use a 10 blade on his head. It's a new 10 blade, this is its packaging. And then these are some of my scissors. These are some extra blades I'm probably not going to need. And this is my cool lube. I'm gonna have a little spray of this before I start. All right, let's get started. Okay, so first we're gonna raise this arm for Cole. It's way too low. And we're gonna put him in here. He doesn't really need this. I probably won't use it very much. I more use it when I'm doing feet and tails and under and stuff like that. That's his little keep you in spot thing, right? You don't look impressed at all, no. Okay, well, let me get started, all right? Okay, I'm going to brush Cole out a little bit before I start shaving. But I'm going to continue where you can see his shave. We're going to shave up here, and we'll blend this in after. And then we're going to shave under his neck here. You leave about, you can feel the bump in the chest. That's your chest. And you leave about two fingers above that. So somewhere right here. Cole's might be a little bit high, but we'll shave that a little bit lower. Look at all this hair I have to work with. I don't even know if I'm going to get the comb through half of it. You're a hairy guy, buddy. There we go. Good boy. There we go. Look at both ears nicely groomed out. And then we'll do a little bit of your chest and then we'll get the shaving started just so we know what we're working with here. Good boy. Okay, so I'm gonna turn my clippers on here with my new blade, it's all nice and clean in here. I'm gonna get a little spray, just to lubricate it up a little bit so that it doesn't overheat while we're cutting. So we're gonna take his ear, we're gonna start here. We're gonna shave up. Probably just into his, to where his head crests here. We're going to the outside. So I'm going to do his head first for Master Groom Canada because if it needs to grow out a little bit because I make a mistake or something happens, I'll have at least a day or two that maybe of growth that I can fix something if I make a little boo-boo here. Okay, so it's getting looking cleaner here. To make it straight. I'm gonna lift his ear and do behind his ear. This part's gonna be hard to see. You're gonna get right in back in here into his neck a little bit. It's a nice tight line. Remember, you can eat Cole's cookies. Look at he doesn't look so impressed with that. She's naughty, eh, bud? She doing that for? She's gonna eat your cookies. Remember, off. All right, Cole, should we give her one? We'll give Ember one and Cole one? Okay. Right, you, he says you can have one. All right, let's get back to your ear. Okay, so you can see his ear. I'm pretty much done here. I'm just trying to even it a little bit on here. I'm going to flip it to the inside. Here we go, we're gonna start trimming inside. Wanna make sure the inside of his ear is clean, whatever it's for, a dog show or just your pet, because this is where a spaniel, any type of spaniel, cocker, English cocker, a mixed spaniel, anything with a down ear, they get a lot of ear infections. So we get the hair out, is the most important part, even down here, because they can get moisture stuck in there and then it just creates little yeast and ear, ear yeast infections. Stop, Cole, your ear is stuck now. Okay, anyways. 
now we're going to do the inside flap here. Cole's starting to complain. He's feeling tired of grooming. Cole had barely been here. Okay, so this is one you have to be this. Okay. Get this right here to the outside little fluffy curls off this little inner flap has to be nice and clean inside and outside to the lay flat when his ear flap is down here. Okay, good ones. We can see that the outer flap here is all nicely shaved. The inner flap is clean. So now we're going to go to the side, cool stuff, side of his face here. We're going to try to get some of this fur right here off, and then we're going to do his neck. Now, some people mm -hmm. like to leave the whiskers. For a show dog, we remove all whiskers. So we're going to remove whiskers. In this case, I don't leave them on. Some people like them because it is how they identify where they're going, feel, touch, all those sort of things. But I like him looking, his clean look. Cole's ears are a little bit silvery because Cole is nine and a half, just about nine and a half. So he's an older dog and he's had a lot of haircuts. So the more you shave their ears here, the lighter it will get. It's also quite close to his skin. So I think we're seeing more skin than silvering there, but you're still a pretty black dog, eh, bud? Beautiful. All right, now we're gonna do your face. So we're gonna try to take off these fluffs here. We're gonna go with the fur to start. You may eventually go against it, but right now we're gonna go with the fur here. Get down some of his neck. And we're gonna do the inside of his lip. He doesn't like this part. Well, we're gonna go backwards this way. We're gonna do inside the lip to get the fur out of there, to get the rusting out, and another moisture spot is right in here. Oh, no, that wasn't good. Okay, I'll just hope it doesn't look like it made much different. Okay, we'll get all this stuff out here so it's nice and dry. Okay, now we're gonna just do a little bit more with the grain down his face here. Good boy. Then you're gonna do his eyes a little bit here, just we're just gonna take it down just a little bit here. They kind of grow like a little cowlick here. We're gonna do an eyebrow right here, take his long, whispery eyebrow out. Whiskers off his nose here. Good boy, stay. I'm gonna do a little backwards here. Shaving. Stay. Good go for it. Just flatten it out a little bit. Blend it in a little bit more. Okay, I'm just gonna get the last little uh, whisker on this side. We're gonna work on one side and then do his neck here. All right, we're gonna lift him up. We're gonna find this spot, two fingers above. I can see where I've groomed him before. I may take him a bit shorter later, but I'm gonna start just where I've caught him before. So I'm gonna go upwards against the hair, against the grain. I'm gonna make it nice and short here. With our Canadian winter, this may be a little cold for him, but he's not out for very for long periods and on a walk he's busy exercising, he won't notice that his neck is short here. And now I'm gonna go down the grain into this little triangle. I'm making a triangle here from his top of his head down to his shoulder here. I'm gonna take all this off, or at least some of it off, and then I'm going to later scissor it off. But right now, that's kind of gonna use the brush. See how much I did take off. Okay, good boy. So it's here at the front, he's also, it's kind of like a U shape. It's not a straight line, you make it kind of in a, in a U there. Okay, so we've we finished with this side. We're gonna come in and fix the head after. We've done his ear, we've done his face nicely, and this portion of his neck. So now we're gonna turn him around. We're gonna get this hairy mass. There's the before shot on the other side. Here's what it's gonna look like after, right, buddy? Look at that pretty boy. Handsome. Okay, let's get going, Cole. Okay, here we are on the other side. We're not gonna use the 
I'm going to try not to use the noose. Cole really doesn't need it. So I'm going to find that spot again here where the hair is a bit shorter. Cole has probably almost four months growth of hair, maybe two. He was groomed just before Christmas, his head, and then I signed up for the Master Groom Canada, and so I left his feet and his legs and his undercoat and everything until now, till February, so that he would have some growth for me to shave off. So his head's probably two and a half months and the body is more like four. So we had a bit of a hairy dog at Christmas, but we, we did bath him and we did um, brush him and stuff, so he didn't look too bad. We can put the line started on this side. Okay, we're still grooming here. We're gonna lift his ear up. We're gonna get under again. I did get some from the other side, but go down his neck a bit behind his ear. Get in here behind his ear a little bit. I'm gonna thin these out after and it'll match in a little bit more in a few minutes. We're not right there yet. Are we? Okay, so we're gonna flip his ear inside out again. There's Cole's tattoo. And we're going to take all of this inner hair out inside his ear. As much as we can get. So we've got a nice, clean, healthy ear. Cole does tend to get ear infections, so I try to keep this clean. He also does a lot of swimming in the summer. He's a very big swimmer, so if we keep his ears a little cleaner in here, then he tends to get a few less ear infections. Even with special food, he does still sometimes get a few ear infections here and there. Nothing serious, but lots of cleaning and treating them. All right, so we're gonna do Cole's other side of his neck here. The same thing, we're gonna go up from the bottom, get under his chin here. With this, we're gonna go the other way of it, because he has a cowlick right here. That goes the wrong way. I'm gonna just mix it up, smooth it up the best we can. Down his neck. I'm going to the hair again here. And we'll get the side of his face. Here. Let me see your neck for a second. Think. Take a little bit of extra out here, down his neck, and we're going to work on his face. We're going to get this, I guess we need to go the other side. There's eye here, we haven't done this here. A little backwards pelvic, and we'll get his whiskers off his eyebrow. I think we've most of them. And then we're going to come on this side and we're going to get in here. I was going to misbehave here because this is, he doesn't like whiskers. And he doesn't like that spot in here. Done. Yeah, I know. I know you're a good boy. It's okay. Don't feel it. You're fine. All right, then we're going to do his cheek here. I'm going to get in here. Backwards. With the grain here. his eye, hide his eye there a little bit, in here, down his neck, then I'm going to take it, I try to brush some of his hair off, he's very hairy now, everywhere, we'll come in and we'll go backwards a little bit to make this just a little smoother, a little shorter in here. Good boy. Thank you, very good boy. So we're doing faces, especially here. It's very smooth, slow, light on the clippers. You don't want to chunk big pieces out. 
that we'll have to let grow back. I'm gonna try to get cool down in the next day or two. We have so much hair, it's probably gonna take me at least two days, if not three, to get them done, but hopefully by the next two days he'll be done. Okay, bud, that's pretty good on your neck. All right. Okay, so I'm gonna use my thinning scissors and just even out the bottom of, of his ears here. He hasn't had his ears trimmed very often. So just, I'm not gonna cut a whole lot off. I'm just gonna even them out just a little bit. See how that works. How's that look, buddy? There, oh, that looks pretty. Can we do the other side now? There, just move you like that, and then we can still see, right? Good boy. So I'm just gonna pull his ear down, the fur together. Let me get another little brush. And then just tidy these wispy. Oops, so let me get it straight again. tell because you won't stop moving. <laughs> I think they're pretty good. He doesn't have uneven ears. Oh, big burp. Excuse you. <laughs> Silly boy. blend in his head just a little bit because Colt has a big head and so we just want to take a little bit off of it. This side looks really good. I'm going to blend this in when I do his back coat. But this, this side still looks good too. We'll just take the thinning scissors and just thin it a little bit. Stay please. I know. I don't like how white it is right here at the top. I'm just gonna spin it with this just to me that try to have a very still hand. Okay. Just thin the edges out so that it blends and matches in. The sides of his head. Stay. Oh, we haven't seen you look this handsome in a while, have we? Daddy won't recognize you. No, I don't think Ember will recognize you either. Blending in the sides, taking a little bit off the top, not a whole lot, it's a little. We're gonna take this, do this when we do his neck. Can you stop, it's too long a video. There you go, cool, cool's head is done now. His ears look beautiful, his neck is all short. His little cute face, dear, you good boy. There's his other ear, now we have to do his neck, both sides of his neck. And I'm gonna round, blend in this chest here. Here we go. I'm gonna strip out Cole's neck a little bit with my Mars stripping comb. I hear that there's an Andes one and I'm gonna order it and give it a try. Maybe I can give a review on how they differ, but this one I find is fine. I haven't noticed any coat breakage, but I heard that it, this one usually breaks coat, top coat 
more than the other one does, but this is all I have for right now. So I'm just gonna thin this out a little bit, even down into his shoulders here. Cool is so hairy. Hmm. So he's getting a little bored of this. So I'm gonna take here, I'm gonna take some of this hair off here, trim it around, and in here this side as well. I'm gonna use the thinning scissors for this. I'm just taking his flyaways off here, blending it in as I go with my with my thinning scissors. Cool, stop. I'm gonna do what's called back combing here a little bit. I'm gonna lift the hair up, just shorten it a little bit. I just want to blend. I don't want him to have all these little white bits over his black, so I'm just gonna shorten it a little bit here. Stay, stay. Long here, so I just do this here. I know Amber's watching. Stay. There we go. I'm going to blend some of his neck in. Ooh. Okay, so I'm going to start working on his neck. I'm just going to thin blend the ends in here that are sticking up, the big high ends. And then I'm going to use my scissors and do some back combing. But first I'm just going to blend in some of these longer pieces. So the scissors are just downwards. And I kind of move and scissor. There we go. And we're going to use our comb. We're going to lift the hair up. And as we pull the comb up, head that way, buddy. Head up and scissor at the same time. And we get into his head here, too, so we need to blend his head in better at his, his top of his head here. Starting to look better. Blend a little bit more in here. Lift the hair. Scissors, scissors, scissors. Hi, Amber. You want to get your hair cut next? So I've done some more thinning on Cole's neck. You can see I'm trying to still blending. It's pretty good. I need to do a little bit more. Blended it into his shoulder, down here into his leg. So we'll clean this up a little bit more. It's not quite done, but it's looking pretty good. I'm doing some back combing right up into his head here, and it's blending in. But he's looking overall look a lot better, eh, buddy? This side, as you can see, I haven't worked on this side at all. It's still very hairy through there, so we'll get that working on that. And then Cole will be ready to look handsome, Annie. Eh? What's Amber going to think? Good boy. Push Cole's head this way. Turn around a bit so you can see better. When we're blending in the side, we're just going with the hair down here. So I'm just trying to blend this in. I'm going to blend in a little bit. I saw some little down his leg. I'm going to push the fur up. So go scissor, 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 and into his head. And then you brush it down to see what else needs to be done. And at some point too, take our thin stripping knife here, stripping comb. Strip a bit more out. Oh, it's gonna get itchy, even. sorry. Okay, I'm going to turn Cole around and I'll show you a little bit of the other side. You can see here, so far, there's not much of a line that blends in pretty well through there. Hey, bud. 
Okay, he pulls off show, show side, and you can see the hair. So we're gonna start working on that. Right here, we're gonna blend it in so that it looks as nice as this side over here. Okay, I'm gonna start blending his neck in here because these fluffs out just slowly down. We don't want to take it too short, but we want to just blend this in and down. Trying to get it in here at the front. Get in here and blend it right into his neck. <laughs> With this dog, he doesn't care. He's working on his work here. Okay. Cole's an old pro at this. Anybody? Trying to get it down his head here to blend properly into his neck. It's still a little bit thick here. And I'm going to up his sides. You can see into his head here. We got that too. doesn't have a big white collar so you can just blend the black in and then try to let the white show off as much as we can that's why I'm trying to take these fluffs back and give them a nice little white shoulder here eventually this will be back but it's gonna take me a little bit so with no help here I had to tie <laughs> Pull his ear in a couple details. So now he's looking a little embarrassed, but I'm going to try to get in right down his neck here and get some a little bit of this out. So you can see this side kind of blends in a little better. I'm just going to try a teeny bit right in here and blend that in with his hair elastic. Okay, cool. All right, I'll show you guys the results in just a sec. Okay, so I'm finished his neck over here. A little bit hairy, but it's nicely blended in. And then I blended into his chest here. A bit of the black out from his legs, his chest, some more white and standing up, standing out. And then this side is nicely blended. I'm sure this is, will not be my finished product. I'll go back and work on this some more in the next day or two. But this is what he's done for now. So this will probably be the end of this video, be his head and his neck. And then we'll come back and we'll do his feet and his tail. And then we'll probably do maybe maybe one or maybe I'll add it to this one, just stripping his back. Oh, it's an old dog pro right on the table. Hey, you just gonna have a nap. You're done. The end. Thanks for watching Ember and Cole's English Springer Spaniel family. We'll be back with some more grooming. Please like and subscribe below and please comment on any tips you need. Or And in the description, I'll leave you the tools I've used today. My Andis clippers, my Mara's grooming rake, and my scissors that I've used. And I'd love to hear from you any tips or any things that you're looking for help with because I can make videos on other things English Springer Spaniel related or dogs. Anyways, thanks so much. Take care. There's Ember. She couldn't wait for Cole, so she's lying with her toys and chewing someone's paper art. Right, Ember? You couldn't wait and you're being naughty. Take care. Thanks so much. Bye.